Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Mark with Southern Custom CC. Thanks for checking us out today. Uh, we have something special. We're going to do a juxtaposition expose on a two stroke versus a four stroke. Now, we're going to have the 50cc two stroke motor against a generic four stroke 50cc motor. The four stroke is going to have a traditional pocket bike transmission to it. In order to do a proper side-by-side -side juxtaposition analysis of this, uh, we had to start with the exact same bike. For that we chose to use the 26 inch Hyper Cruiser, which is a very motor friendly bike and it's highly customizable. Uh, not to mention it looks really boss too with all the black color scheme. It has a wider tire to it, a nice slammed seat, and it has the cruiser handlebars to it. It makes it very comfortable, classic cruiser style. The layout of this side by side is simple. We had to have stock. There's nothing on these bikes at the moment that doesn't come in the box for each of the respective kits. If you just go to say eBay or Amazon and get the generic 50cc motorized bike kit, whether it's two stroke or four stroke, the chances that you get what I have here in this video are very high to what you will get for your motor setup. And that's exactly what I wanted. Now please also keep this in mind. Yours and mine riding conditions are most likely not the same. I'm a tad over six foot tall, weigh approximately 200 pounds, and I most likely don't live in the same area as you. With that said, you may experience better or even worse results with the engine setup. This is 44.2 sprocket, once again, all stock. The goal of this video is to look at the performance of each of these engine kits under the same circumstances. So with no further ado, let's get to it. First up is the two stroke. I give the price point for this two stroke a $2 sign because these motors are abundant and they're relatively cheap. Uh, they're cheaper than the four stroke if you shop around. The typical build will run you a couple hundred dollars if you're conscious about your spending. I give the difficulty a three because not only is the sprocket a hassle for most, but one must also tango with the tailoring of the chain and properly mounting the engine to the frame as well as mounting the exhaust in the right order so that you have proper pedal clearance it can be a headache sometimes, but it is definitely manageable. On a five scale with upgrades, this engine is highly modifiable. Pretty much there are no limitations to the upgrading of this motor. You have high compression heads, reef valve, carbs intakes, exhaust, you name it. You can do most likely anything to this engine. Finally, for maintenance, there's a 4 rating. If getting your hands greasy is not your cup of tea, move along. This bike requires constant attention to run in tip-top safe condition. However, with that said, it's not difficult or even intrusive to maintain your bike. You just need to address maintenance frequently. Now the price point for the 4-stroke motor kit is about $100 more than the 2-stroke motor kit. But with that extra price you're getting a sturdy motor mount and you're also getting a wide pedal crank set. The difficulty scale is a 3 because it is a little less involved. Besides addressing the installation hassle of the rear sprocket which we already mentioned in the 2-stroke, uh, you must switch out your standard crank for a wide set pedal crank set so that you can clear the engine while pedaling. So some special tools may be required. Pretty much, the only other concern is mounting your engine to the engine bracket while trying not to mount it on the bike frame without scratching the hell out of your bike frame at the same time. With some patience and some mindfulness, um, it can be done without much cursing involved. With not much to offer in the upgrade department, the four stroke kit gets a two in the upgrade bracket. Pretty much besides a highly expensive transmission overhaul, the only thing that you can really do easily is switch out the carb and the air filter. However, those two additions will make a big difference in your motor and how it runs and performs. And finally for maintenance we're going to give this a 2 rating. And that's because beyond typical bicycle maintenance, you're looking at changing out your oil periodically, making sure that your clutch is wearing down evenly and properly, keeping your rear chain tensioned and making sure of course your nuts and bolts are tight. 
now's a good time to talk about fuel. Both kits can run off of 87 or better octane fuel. However, I highly recommend non-ethanol gas for both because that gas is made specifically for small engines. If the gas lasts longer, it's less likely to crystallize inside your carb and it's just clean and burning fuel. Now, with the two-stroke, you're gonna have to mix oil and gas together. Now, you can get full synthetic or regular oil. It's debatable. I personally do the full synthetic, and it's also debatable whether you use 16 to 1, 20 to 1, 32 to 1, 40 to 1, or so on. That's up to you, but that's a benefit because you can choose and alter how your bike performs. Now with the four stroke, you can just roll up to a gas station, fill up your tank with 87 or better octane fuel or the non-ethanol gas and off you go. No matter which kit you choose, they're both gas savers and will save you money at the pump.
Alrighty, so there you have it, a side-by-side -side look at a 50cc two-stroke and a 50cc four-stroke motorized bike. Uh, hopefully you were able to notice and determine the differences as well as the similarities between the two bikes. Um, in my opinion, each have their own pros and cons, and I'm not going to tell you which setup is better because that's subjective to a rider's needs. You should consider what your riding conditions are like and what you're wanting and expecting from the bike. Are you wanting a bike that can pull you up a hill better or one that goes faster on a flatter terrain? Are you looking to modify or are you looking for a less hands-on machine? These are all things to consider and weigh in on uh, when deciding between the two. Uh, they're all good questions and all good factors. Uh, hopefully this video was able to at least break down the surface and introduce you to the two types of motor kits and what's involved. Uh, well, thanks for watching, everyone. As a little teaser, I will be doing a follow-up video for each bike called the Pimp My 50cc. I will deck out these bikes and make them perform and look even sweeter than they already do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and please smash that like button. Until next time, fly low and avoid the radar. Thanks for watching.